Greetings creators. Welcome back to Create, Share and Give. I am Mayat Marie and thanks for tuning in to another episode in my Hoodoo Heritage Celebration Month. Today I'm going to dwell a little bit into the religion and the history behind Hoodoo here in America. There is very little information available about the underground religious and spiritual lives of any racial or ethnic group in colonial America. In fact, only 15% of the population before 1760 were members of any church, which is why officials constantly complained about the unbashed sinners and the all around loose living in the colonies that exist about the colonies is based on information from the 15% of the people who were willing to attend church. All systems and philosophies are affected by the shifting demographics of a nation's population. For example, the dominant religion in the 17th century was Puritanism. In the 18th century, it was evangelicalism. And in the 19th century, it was transcendentalism. All of these changes are the result of new ideas that arrived in North America via immigrant or well-traveled intelligentsia. As a result of colonization and slavery, the enslaved people were stripped of their dignity, their land, their language, and their culture. And that was replaced with Christianity to make them a little bit more docile. But just like the enslaved people, they're such a resilient people, they took that and they used it to their benefit. Bibliomancy means divinations by means of a book. And among Jews and Christians, the most popular books for use in divination is the Holy Bible. Because it is God's holy word, it can provide a direct link to spirit. It is custom of most who do root workers and doctors to keep the Bible or the book of Psalms on or near their altars at all times. And many workers consult the Bible for guidance, for answers and questions. The card of the day is Ace of Sticks. The plant is basil. And in the image, there is a hand that sticks out of a cloud, clasping a stick. Below the hand lays a mound, the largest of 10 mounds in Louisiana. There has been a resurgence of interest since 1980 among occultists in the dozens of Indian mounds and pyramids all over North America. But root workers have long recognized them as power centers. And check out my video on the mound that I visited when I was in Minneapolis. It was absolutely amazing. I went there and I left an offering. The Ace of Sticks symbolized new opportunities, optimism, potential, courage, growth, and the use of power. If you've been following this sequence, it is right on time. Spirit is speaking and we are here listening. Until we meet again, take care.